So this little thing here is a BBC micro bit. And this is a really cool micro sized computer that can help kids to learn coding and develop creativity, problem solving skills through a hands-on physical device. Uh, this is my go-to for teaching coding in school. If you're new to the channel, then hi, I'm Steve. I'm a primary teacher and tech coach at an international school in Malaysia. So today we're gonna unbox the BBC micro bit. We're gonna have a look at the very first steps in setting it up and connecting, getting our first program onto here, and then I'm gonna share with you some really cool ideas that you can use in your teaching using the micro bit. So let's get to it. Okay, so this is the V2 version of the micro bit, which has a couple of extra things compared to the V1. It's got a microphone speaker and a touch button on the front as well. So let's have a look and see what we've got inside. So we've got our main part here, the actual micro bit itself, and then a sticker, some instructions, and the uh, the cable battery pack and obviously the batteries as well. So let's go ahead and get it all connected. Okay, so now we're all set up. Uh, we're gonna head over to the iPad and get this connected. So I'm here on the App Store. I found the Microbit app. I'm gonna open it up. Uh, and the very first thing we need to do is get this connected to the iPad via Bluetooth. So we're going to go to Manage Connections down here, pair a micro bit, uh, and follow these instructions through. Now, the first thing we need to do is to find the reset button, which is here. It's this black circle on the back. We're going to press that one, two, three times uh, for us to enter pairing mode. You'll see that Bluetooth symbol appear, and then we need to match this pattern here to the pattern on the iPad. So let's go ahead and do that very quickly. And then we'll have to use this uh, pair button to give it permission to pair to the iPad. And we're done. And you'll see this tick here to show that. So now we're connected, we're gonna go back to the home page here and we're gonna get started by creating some code. And you'll see here, there's quite a few options to choose from. If you're new to Microbits, then there's a tutorial that you can start here at the top. Um, and then there's various other tutorials uh, down the page here. Uh, that you can choose from, including games and uh, radio games, music, toys, etc. There's loads of things that you can explore. So we're going to start a new project. Uh, let's call it Hello. And we're just going to try flashing a, a different symbol here onto the LED screen. So you'll see when you, uh, when you open a new project, you'll see the workspace here. You've got the uh, preview of the micro bit, what it will look like once you've uh, created the code here in the workspace before you download it to your actual micro bit, it will show what you've created here. Um, and then you've got the kind of toolbox, you've got all the blocks that you'll need. You can search for specific ones if you need to. Uh, and you'll see that there's already two blocks here, on start and forever. Uh, gonna keep that on start one, and we're just gonna create a new icon here. Uh, now I've already got the heart icon showing, so let's choose something different. We'll do, uh, there we go, we'll do, do a smiley face instead. Okay, so once we've chosen what we want to do and we've created the code using those blocks, you'll see it appear in the preview here on the left, and then we can press download. And it's the same process that we followed before to pair uh, the micro bit. We're gonna press that reset button three times, the Bluetooth symbol will appear, and then we can continue and wait for it to flash across. Okay, so code sent successfully. You'll see the smiley face has appeared. Uh, it won't do anything else at the moment because we've not programmed any other uh, blocks apart from this one. So let's change it and make it a bit more advanced. We can just uh, perhaps add a new icon for it to flick between maybe a smiley face and a sad face. Uh, and instead of on start, I'm going to get that forever block back because that means that this, uh, this will just continue looping forever. Uh, and you'll see that in the preview over here. It will just keep going, smiley face, sad face. And we can download that, same process as before. Click that button one, two, three times. Wait for the Bluetooth symbol to appear and then we can continue uh, sending the codes. Okay, great, so code sent successfully and we've got this animation now flicking between uh, the smiley face and the sad face. And of course, students can get really creative with this, uh, creating a whole list of uh, icons that they can customize. It doesn't have to be these, uh, these set ones here. They can draw their own uh, LED uh, kind of symbols and things as well, that then they can create their own unique animation. So lots of possibilities there. That's a very quick intro. Uh, if I just go back to the home page 
Again, there's loads of uh, things that you can choose from here in terms of tutorials for, for other types of programs as well. Also, the Microbit website has uh, loads to choose from in terms of projects and uh, programs that students can create as well. So you'll see in the projects tab up here, uh, there's uh, lots of different options going from very basic up to things that are a bit more complicated. Uh, and not only kind of, you know, small things, creating icons and things like that, but things that are purposeful and things that can uh, add to other areas of the curriculum, maybe solve real life problems. We've got activities like creating step counters to improve fitness, for example, um, creating a night light that only turns on when it's dark to save energy. So there's all, this, all of these areas relating to sustainability and other areas of the curriculum um, that are really useful, really good. So there's lots of subjects and topics that you can sort through uh, or you can just choose from the device feature itself. Loads of really good ideas. And if you do want to find out more about different coding and robotics resources, uh, you can head to my website at primaryedtech.com and there's loads of things that I've started to gather here uh, in terms of resources that are helpful for educators. So if you head to the, um, the coding and robotics section here under educators, you'll see some of the resources that I've gathered uh, that you can go and explore. Um, from BBC, from uh, Google, Apple, Lego, uh, Swift Playgrounds, Vex, there's loads of stuff here that can really support students with coding and robotics in the classroom, including Microbit, of course, at the bottom down here. Uh, if you do have any other resources that you use that you're really passionate about, that you think are really engaging for students, then do add them here. Uh, you can submit your own resources and I'd be really uh, pleased to have those uh, on this section on the website as well. So you can submit a resource uh, and share with me what you are using as well. So thanks for joining me today. I hope you found this useful uh, and do keep an eye on my channel for other tutorials, uh, guides and resources that will be helpful for you to implement EdTech into the classroom. See you next time.